So we have our camera connected to the tablet via this Ethernet to USB-C adapter. Uh, you might need to disable the Wi-Fi and the data connection on your device uh, in order for the Ethernet connection to work. It depends. But anyway, any device with an Ethernet port or a USB-C port can talk to our camera. So once it's connected, you'll so once it's connected, you'll open the web browser um, and you'll enter the IP address of the camera, which in this case is 172.31.44.1. And once the camera is is on and started up, you'll you'll get this interface. So what we have here, we've got preview, um, which works when the camera's recording. We've got settings, we've got status, and we've got GNSS. We'll start with GNSS. So uh, it might take a few seconds, up to a couple of minutes, uh, for a cold start, um, but you'll get your GPS connection after some uh, short time. Um, here you can see the satellite status, so it sees 22 satellites and it's using 12 satellites. Uh, you've got the mode, so it's using the internal GNSS device. It's possible to also uh, use an external GNSS module. Uh, you've got the GPS time, uh, your location, altitude, and, and sample frequency here. Um, the status, that's where if you're going to do a firmware update or something like that, otherwise you don't really need to worry about this. Uh, here you've got the settings. Um, so you've got the bit rate. You'll usually want to leave that at 120. Um, so the exposure time, so this is the uh, slowest shutter speed that the camera will have. So let's imagine that you're going into a tunnel where it's dark and you want to be able to get a, a sharp image. Um, so you might, you might set this to something like five milliseconds and that will mean that, that'll mean that the, the longest exposure time that the camera will do will be five milliseconds. If you set it to 250, that's a quarter of a second, so that means if you're in a tunnel and you're driving fast, it might do a quarter of a second exposure, which means that the image will be blurry. Um, in other cases, if you have the camera on, on a tripod or, or if the camera is just not moving very quickly, this will be okay. Um, generally, we, we set this to uh, between, between one and five, so for now I'll, I'll put it on three. Uh, the frames per second, Again, this is totally up to you. Um, we, we have this between two and 10, and it, it depends on, on the use case and, and what you're doing. Uh, we, we can set this at five for now. Uh, it's worth noting that when you, when you change the FPS, the uh, maximum exposure time will also change. So if you're shooting 10 pictures every second, then of course it's not possible to have an exposure time that's longer than one tenth of a second or a hundred milliseconds. If you set it at two frames per second, then the longest exposure time will be 500 milliseconds or, or, or half a second. So we'll uh, put this back. Um, gamma, we almost always leave it at 2.2 and I, I, I wouldn't change that. The EV correction, this is again uh, fairly subjective, uh, so you might uh, notice depending on the type of lighting or the type of subject matter that the exposure value might need to be a little bit more or a little bit less. Um, generally it's only about one half. You might want to put it on minus 0.5 or, or, or plus 0.5 depending on what you see. Once you've set all of these things, be sure, be sure to hit save. So, it's also possible, instead of uh, having a constant frame rate here, it's possible to, to uh, have a, a triggered mode, which means that uh, there will be pulses sent to the camera to tell it to take a photo at a specific time. This might be, for example, a, a, a distance-based triggering. 
uh, which is using the GPS. So you can you can turn that on, um, and you can tell it to take a picture every five meters. For now, we're gonna keep it on a uh, constant frame rate. So we'll hit save again. So once we've got all these settings, um, we can hit record, and I'll uh, just turn up the volume. So it'll take a few seconds to start recording. Recording started. So we we have audio prompts. If you uh, lose the GPS signal, for example, also it, it will beep. Um, we can go to the preview now, and you can see that we have an image preview that looks pretty good. We've got the camera on the balcony right now, uh, but you can see the images are moving. They're refreshing at about uh, two frames per second right now. If you ever uh, lose connection to the camera for some reason, or if it freezes, uh, you can reload the web page like this and um, you can see down here you've got the GPS position error which is now two meters that's generally the best that you're gonna do with the internal GNSS uh, between one and two and a half meters is pretty normal and you've got the uh, status of the internal storage so we're 89 percent free with the storage we've got the uh, duration of the recording and approximately how much is remaining according to the uh, bit rate and the, and the frame rate that, that have been set. So that's about it. Uh, when you want to stop recording, uh, you just press the stop button. Recording stopped. And that's, that's all there is to it.